And we begin with new details on that deadly Sacramento shooting at what was supposed to be an anti-gun event. An officer opening fire and killing an alleged gunman. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for the CBS 13 News at 10. I'm Steve Large. And I'm Marley Ginter. CBS 13's Ryan Hill is live in North Sacramento where he just spoke with the organizers of the event. Ryan? Yeah, I spoke with the host of the Guns Down, Gloves Up boxing event that would happen last night. It's still unclear why the shots were ringing out last night, but it's something that they're trying to get rid of in their community. This cell phone video showing the family friendly boxing event that by night's end had descended into deadly violence. Everybody was in there to watch they kids that they see going to box every day, guns down, gloves up, you know, that's what we was trying to promote. Police dispatch audio describes the event, the sounds of gunshots going off. Sounds like sounds of shots fired in the background. Shots fired, I got one down with a gun. John Quest Houston, who hosted the boxing event called Guns Down, Gloves Up, doesn't know what happened after he asked a guest to leave. I see him, I try to talk to him, and I notice he's too drunk, I just tell him, go. Am I the people he was with, or I thought he was with, because they was talking to me like they was with him, walked him out, and what they did with him after that, I don't know. Sacramento police say the responding officers arrived to the event on Julius Avenue at around 8 p.m. and saw a large crowd of people leaving the warehouse area. After being told there was someone with a gun, then hearing multiple gunshots, the officer ran towards the shots and confronted an armed suspect pointing a gun towards a crowd of people inside the building. The officer shot the suspect. Somebody bring a med kit for this guy. The suspect suffered life threatening injuries and was pronounced dead at the hospital. It's unfortunate that, you know, um, the situation at hand, somebody, you know, lost their life. For those involved, it's a frustrating, ironic, and unfortunate situation as they hope to prevent violence from happening in their community. I feel like that wasn't supposed to be displayed at the event, you know. I feel like we could have did better as a, as a city and as a community. I feel yeah, it's ironic, but we can't let that stop our youth from trying to be bigger than, bigger than their situations, and that's just what we're trying to, you know, develop and create around here. So. While searching the area, Sacramento police also found another shooting victim who had non-life-threatening injuries and was transported to the hospital. It's still unclear at this time how or when this individual was shot.